guys. Oh, it's so nice to see friendly faces that I know. I have been looking for things that are normal, the same as usual, and it's been hard to find. I made a list. It's helped me. There's so many things that are not the same. This is my not the same page. It says same and there's a big X through it. But to help me feel better, I also made a list of things that are still the same. It's helping me out. You wanna hear my list? Some of my things are things that are not the same. I'm having snack and lunch at home every day. That's a little different, but I have to remember that some things are still the same. I have breakfast and dinner at home just like before. Oh, let's see. I don't get to play with my friends anymore. That is not the same. But something that makes me feel better that is the same is that I play outside every day. That's nice. I get myself dressed every day, just like before, but I don't get to go to my cubby every day or to my office and see how things are doing. That's a little weird. And I miss my friends. I miss you guys. I miss my grown-up friends. But what really helps me that's the same is that everyone still cares about me and I care about them still. So that helps me feel a lot better. I'm probably gonna add to my list of things that are the same and not the same as before when we were all going to school. Kinda of makes me feel a little better. Do you know what else is the same? Our bookmobile starting song. Let's see, let me get my bell. I found a new bell. Still doesn't sound the same as the one on the bookmobile, but that's okay. <clears throat> Ready with your toes? Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Now tuck them in like that, if it's comfortable. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Now place them in your lap. Eyes are looking, look up there. Eyes are looking, look down there. Eyes are looking, look up here. Look up here, my darlings. Ears are listening, shh, shh, shh. Ears are listening, shh, shh, shh. Ears are listening, shh, shh, shh. Story time's beginning. Another thing that's still the same is after our song, we're gonna read Chicken Soup with Rice. Of course it is, by Movie Sendak. Since the last time I saw you guys, it's become a new month. Let me show you. January, February, March, that was last time. And now it's April. Do you see our friend riding on an elephant? That would be cool. This fellow is traveling. We are not traveling. He went all the way to the country of India in this picture to a big city called Bombay. April. In April, I will go away to far off Spain or old Bombay and dream about hot soup all day. Oh my oh, once. Oh my oh, twice. Oh my oh, chicken soup with rice. <laughs> oh my oh, imagine being in Bombay, riding on an elephant, eating soup. Isn't that funny? It's the elephant eating soup. So much for that. We'll probably read that next time. It will still be April. I've been waking up with a song in my head. I wanted to share it with you. <clears throat> it goes like this. Spring is coming, spring is coming. Birdies build their nests. Weave together straw and feather. Each is doing their best. 
Spring is coming, spring is coming, flowers are coming too. Pansies, lilies, daffodillies, all are blooming soon. Spring is coming, spring is coming, all around is fair. Shimmer, quiver on the river, joy is everywhere. It has been really springy, warming up. The birds are frolicking around, the flowers are coming. And one of the things that happens in spring is everybody starts thinking about eggs. So I found my favorite egg book. It's called The Golden Egg Book by Margaret Wise Brown. Isn't that a beautiful egg? A lot of people around the world in the spring decorate eggs. They're a little hopeful, right, these eggs? all those animals. I spy a frog. I spy a mouse and a bluebird. I spy a bunny and a butterfly. The Golden Egg Book by Margaret Wise Brown. Once there was a little bunny. She was all alone. One day she found an egg she could hear something moving inside the egg. What was it? Maybe a little boy. Maybe another bunny. Maybe an elephant. Maybe a mouse. Who could tell what she would find and how would a little bunny know? But there was something inside that egg. She could hear something moving. She shook it. Then the bunny pushed the egg with her foot. She jumped on top of the egg. She climbed a tree and threw acorns at it. She rolled the egg down a hill, but still it didn't break and whatever was in the egg didn't come out. So the bunny threw a rock at the egg, but because she was only a very little bunny, it was a very little rock and she didn't throw it very hard and the egg didn't break. Pick, pick, pick. Something was trying to get out of that egg. The bunny sat very still and watched through her shining eyes. She sat very still and listened with her big, soft ears. Pick, pick, pick. Then the little bunny began to yawn. Oh, she yawned and she yawned. The egg was very quiet. She curled up all sleepy and warm close to the egg and went to sleep. She went to sleep because she was so sleepy. Then, pick, 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 and peck, 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 and crackety crack, out jumped a little yellow duck. the little duck when he saw the bunny. What could this little fur thing be? The bunny was very sleepy, so she was still asleep and didn't wake up. Inside the egg, said the duck, I thought I was all alone in a small dark world. Now I find myself alone with the bunny in a big bright world and the bunny won't wake up. So the duck pushed the bunny with his foot and jumped on top of her and threw a little rock at her and rolled her down a hill. And the bunny woke up. Where is my egg? said the bunny. And where did you come from?
Never mind that, said the duck. Here I am. So the bunny and the duck were friends, and no one was ever alone again. The end. Isn't that a sweet little story about a mysterious egg? Did you guys think there was an elephant in there? Or a boy? No, that would be silly. Well, I haven't seen any bird eggs yet this spring, but I did see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other eggs. Mm-hmm, right out back at our little pond. They were frog eggs. Maybe you've heard some frogs. Maybe you've seen some frogs. Maybe you've been lucky enough to see some frog eggs too. I brought this book to share a little bit about how frogs grow up. It's called Frog. See how they grow. This is what I saw right out back in our little pond. It's a vernal pool, really. It doesn't hold water all year long. It dries up by July. That's called a vernal pool. And here are all these eggs growing in jelly. This frog is my mother. She has just laid all the eggs in the water. The eggs are called frog spawn. Each egg is surrounded by clear jelly and they all stick together. Each egg, these little black dots, is growing into a tadpole. That's why frogs have to lay their eggs in the water is because baby frogs are tadpoles and have to swim. They can't live on land. Just hatched. After two weeks, I am ready to hatch. Look at my long feathery gills. They let me breathe underwater. I push my way through the jelly frog spawn and swim away. They're so teeny tiny when, they ha when this happens. Tadpole. I am four weeks old now. That's one month. I like to swim with other tadpoles. My gills have closed up. I have to swim to the surface to breathe the air up there. I am growing bigger and bigger. We all feed on teeny tiny underwater plants. On my own. I am six weeks old now and I have grown much bigger. I eat plants and insects that fall into the water. I like to swim on my own. Look, my back legs are beginning to grow. I am slowly changing into a frog. Getting stronger. I am nine weeks old. I am half tadpole and half frog. My back legs are growing stronger, and now my front legs are growing too. But still, look at that long tail the tadpole still has. A frog at last. I am nearly 12 weeks old, that's three months, and at last I am a frog. I still have a long tail, which helps me swim, but it is getting shorter. Here is a really big frog, Look how small I am beside her. Out of the water. Now that I am more than a year old, I spend most of my time on land. I sit quietly waiting for an insect to heat, eat, and then I shoot out my long tongue and snap it up. See, see how I grew the egg and then it hatched and was one day old. And then it got a big head and a small tail, four weeks old. At six weeks old is when the legs start to grow. Nine weeks old, front legs. 12 weeks old, itty bitty frog. And over a year old, a mature adult. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna watch the frog eggs out back in our vernal pool and see if I can't find these little frogs coming out in a few weeks. Question is, 
What do the frogs do all winter, right? Where are the froggies when the north winds blow? We cannot see them in the ice and snow. Deep, deep down in the mud they lie. Froggy sleeping with tight closed eyes. When the warm spring sun comes out, froggies wake and jump about. Oh, how happy they will be. A beautiful springtime world to see. They love it when the spring comes and they don't have to be hibernating anymore. I have a felt board that I want to show you guys. I think you might know the words to the song I'm about to sing. You ready? I got to set it up. All right, my felt board's all set up. What do you notice? Do you notice any frogs? You do. Will you help me count them? One, two, three, four, five. What color are they? Green. Yeah. Are they speckled? Do you know a song about five green and speckled frogs? Yeah? Well, let's sing it together. If you do, and if you don't, you'll learn quickly and you can join us, okay? Oh, did you see what the frogs are going to eat? Delicious bugs. Five green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, wee, where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs on the log. And how many are in the water? One. Four green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, woo, in where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs on the log and two in the water. Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs on the log. How many are in the water? Three. One, two, three. Here's a tricky question. You ready? How many frogs are there all together? <sighs> Let's count them. First, we'll count the ones on the log, and then we'll count the ones in the water. One, two, three, four, five. There's still five frogs, but only two of them are on the log. That's pretty cool. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog on the log and one, two, three, four in the water. One green and speckled frog sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Ooh. Now there are zero speckled frogs on the log. But there are still five frogs, right? They're just in the water. One, two, three, four, five. The Silly Sueño, I forgot to say, see you next time. Be helpful, be kind, and look for more videos of me just reading books all by myself without any puppets or anything. I'm going to try to do that. Hold me to it, okay? All right, miss you guys. Bye.